Are we in the half pint now? Yeah, we are in half pint uh, territory now. Very good. <laughs> or half pint country. <laughs> no country for half pints. <laughs> Precisely what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, that's a title. (laughs) (laughs) So a uh, friend of mine, or ours, has decided to become a YouTuber. I don't know whether you've seen that uh, Homemade Marco has put three videos out yesterday no i haven't no seen that's uh mm-hmm. so he's he's down as homemade marco demo as his channel and he's put out three videos two shorts for kj although yeah. his shorts are a little bit longer than normal and um one full length video all about his uh his uh three northern makers challenge which is actually a beautiful project oh uh, yeah the, the classic of uh entering a challenge that makes you actually start a youtube yeah <laughs> that uh, i mean that was uh, what pushed me from just posting videos to instagram to actually putting them on youtube was the dirty smith's uh, zombie apocalypse weapon challenge uh, a couple of years ago that actually did didn't pan out to anything uh, but that was what made me take the leap to youtube but it's interesting because uh, I've talked quite a lot with Marco, but I haven't, or I don't know how he looks like. So I could pass him on the street and <laughs> not knowing. So, and I've just opened up his uh, YouTube account and, you know, a channel. Um, and I see the thumbnails, but there's no picture there. So I'm guessing when I find the time to watch them after this uh, recording, then I should see how it looks like. Yeah, Unless he's nice uh, not doing me. like uh, this old Tony just showing his hands <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> no, he's, he's in the full well. le- he is in the full length video. <clears throat> I just yeah, put it on my watch later list, with, yeah. with, uh, which pushed, pushed that over the 200 mark. So <laughs> Gosh. I'll get to it when I get to it. All right, let me let me check my list. This is this is this is good fun for people listening on a podcast. <laughs> they're so not last... just talking about the YouTube videos; they're talking about the YouTube videos they don't have time to watch. Last week we googled stuff. Fuck! It doesn't even give me a number. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Do I need to go to my studio? Let's see. No, mm-hmm. that doesn't show anything. All right, go back to... I got presents today. Did you? Ooh. Yeah. yeah you been a good boy? The... Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, yeah, I'm not okay. sure about that. <laughs> Gavin from the Loft Workshop sent me some stickers and some shortbread from Scotland. Mm, oh, nice. so that was what that was. That's your, your perfect gift, something to eat. Yeah, exactly. I'm liking all these edible presents <laughs> that come from almost different countries. I'm not counting Scotland, really. It's a different country. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> all right. The number is 178. And I know I deleted 2030 here the other day, which I realized I'm not going to watch these. Yeah, I go through them like every other week and just thin out the herd, and but still... The list keeps growing. All right. Remove watched videos. All right. Let's do that. That's a... The... Oh, this is so good content, this is. It's really, really not, dude. <laughs> really, really <Well>. not. <laughs> Update. Refresh. Oh, I'm down to 65. That that feels almost doable. <laughs> yeah. I uh. bet you lost a lot of videos that you actually haven't watched, but YouTube think you watched. Yeah, but, but I, yeah, I will a, never know. To... Yeah, and it's a it's a good way to do that because yeah. you, as you said, you will never know. Maybe that's what they've done. It's it's just a random video selector and <laughs> delete <laughs> function. Yeah, if you're so, listening, YouTube, uh, there should be a time limit on watch later. I mean, after two months, they should just fall out of the list. Thank me later. 
I would like a, a an uh, a number which is the accumulated hours of in, in your watch later list. So you can see, oh, this is like five weeks of continuously <laughs> watching. This is not doable. Yeah, um, I don't remember if it's it's in the YouTube app. I think uh, I was looking for some settings or something, and then I found a, a place where you could press for like. A, watch our statistics your watch hours watching other people's videos so like i'm not pressing that <laughs> i don't want to know i was quite surprised at your post today as well kj um with the snow yeah i was surprised as well because i was sitting in my office uh in the in the basement uh just minding my own business and people were saying oh are you out in the snow no no what snow and then i went up for a cup of tea and about like, jesus it's snowing <laughs> And as an old man, I, I thought I was going to nip out on the on my lunch break and and uh, and do some progress on the on the project, uh, but yeah, it's not really nice going out in the snow. Hmm. But that's good content. <laughs> so then I did it anyway. <laughs> Just standing out, and uh, I mean, one of my neighbor, uh, a lot, some of our neighbors were were shoveling their driveway and one was having trouble starting the car and there i was standing angle angle grinding and <laughs> a big piece of metal so yeah i'm probably the weird one <clears throat> one neighbor walking the dog past the hello yeah hi here i'm standing <laughs> angle grinding and with a camera on what i'm doing yes yes move Mr. along Christmas please tree move stand. along what is it the christmas tree stand yes yes yeah it must be getting close now. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a lot of welding. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's uh, about how finicky you want to get. But yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't really feel like putting down the welder in ten cent- centimeters of snow, and I don't have a good. No. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna retire my welding table I've got because it's just too bulky and doesn't really function the way I. I envisioned it, so I'm going to retire that and make something else instead to make the welding easier. But I have that problem of the the public road just being outside my my workshop. So if I open the the doors and step out, I have like twenty square meters or something like that of of nice paved workspace. But then the the public road goes just outside that, so <laughs> you get some onlookers. Uh, it might be quite nice to set up two cameras, one facing the road and one facing you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I don't I, want the extra footage. I was going to segue into changing the subject to purchases because I have a few lined up. Well, you got something this week but anyway. Then again, to explain... One of the purchases, uh, they are for something I want to build, but I did not know what it was in English. So I just did a quick Google search. And Google draws a blank. And interesting. I, yeah, that's really interesting. <laughs> um, it's what's been in Norwegian called Advent, which is the countdown Advent. to Christmas. Advent calendar. Yeah, it's the it's from that word, but it's like I don't get a translation to English, and I don't get a description uh, of that or a definition in English. If you just put that in, Ad, well, Advent. Yeah. So we we do have the Advent, the countdown to Christmas. Do Do you have the 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 first, second, third, and fourth Advent, like the Sundays before Christmas? No, because that's a, I think that's a a Nordic thing. We count down uh, the Sundays before Christmas. Okay, not every day. Well, the, no, the, the just the four four ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I see. If you if you only Google Advent, then it's uh, since the beginning of the liturgical year in Western Christianity or something like that. So yeah, it is yeah, a definition of that there, but. Um, at least in Norway, the tradition is that you get a candlelight holder for four candles. So the four Sundays before 
Christmas you light the candle and then on the second you light two candles and so on and this is you get these in all uh, kinds of shapes okay. and that's one of the projects that I want to do I want to make one of these candle holders but of course that needs to be completed before next Sunday because if not it's before Sunday you mean yeah yeah this Sunday yeah this Sunday <laughs> And then, of course, uh, is that going to happen? Um, and then I started thinking, well, is that a challenge? <laughs> because <laughs> I have the design ready and it failed in simulation. Uh, and then uh, I went to the store and uh, got the building materials yesterday. And I found that they had actually some decent oak planks uh, which is what I was planned to do for it. And uh, yeah, all right, maybe I should. So um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going tomorrow to get some oak materials. And then I have, what day is it today? Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Tuesday. Um, it's a, it's a four-day challenge then, including, uh, the video can come out uh, <laughs> some bit later, but uh, yeah. Or maybe it's a stretch. I don't know. But yeah, I've racked up that as a purchase. And then I'm also getting a, a heater for my workshop. Um, nice. Uh, that I'm planning for tomorrow. Uh, getting one that's in line with the other ones in the house, which is uh, connected to Wi-Fi and everything. So then I can just uh, call my workshop hot uh, before I go uh, home from work. So I know it's uh, nice and toasty for when I'm going there later oh, I might put one of those in my office actually that's a good good call yeah yeah unheated workshop is not it's not humane no I don't need much heat in my actual workshop I insulated it really well so it's and it has a little fan heater and it keep that on for 10 minutes and it's okay that's the same for me but after we removed the soil from the largest wall um I now fear that it can dip below zero. And that means that I will have glue uh, and a lot of uh, varnish, no, not varnishes, but a lot of uh, water-based uh, paints and so on will freeze and then they're useless. So uh, I don't want it to go below zero. And it is always nice to have a, yeah. a lower threshold because it will make it not only easier to warm up, but you will get rid of some condensation issues and other things. And I do store tools there, so it's nice to just keep them at a steady low temperature. Going back to your advent thing, Avard, um, the kids here generally get a calendar which they open, you know, from the 1st of December up until Christmas every day. Yeah. And there's normally a chocolate inside it or... Adults can get them as well with gin or chocolates in as well, um, and or tools even. I think where are tools do one as well. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, so it's yeah, we have so, that as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's not just the Sunday thing then. No, no, no. We have the no. the calendars are much more popular today than the, the candle thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The candle thing does sound a bit crap. <laughs> but then again, the design I made fit very nicely with the two uh the table clock and the wall clock that I made so it's uh it's one of nice. those design jobs where I actually put some effort into it and it's uh, like in a series where they do match and so on so uh, like pulling out some of the skills that I actually have on paper that I should be able to do <laughs> <laughs> So you mean you calling yourself a designer, a right? <laughs> <laughs> so one point I want to raise is that every other episode you pick on the English for doing bad things around the world, and then when you talk about the Nordic way of invading, you refer to it as the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were enough you, time uh, has passed. <laughs> were you hinting to my uh, poke at the British National Museum? <laughs> In the last Probably. video, <laughs> yeah. come back when it's been a thousand years since you last exploited someone. 
I think we can all agree that neither one of us three has exploited or done anything wrong to anybody recently. No, <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> well, it did just make me chuckle that you refer to when you guys do it. It's the good old days. <laughs> well, everyone was doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. I go and steal your people for slaves, you come and steal my people as slaves and Yeah. Yeah. It's like the ultimate uh, kindergarten logic. Well everybody's <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, another clip from uh, I'm not, not expecting this to make it in the show, but another clip from Turgworks he sent me a couple of weeks ago which uh might help with the braces suspenders thing. Now then, mate, how you doing? Uh, love the podcast, but please never put the mental image of you in suspenders in my head ever again, or I'm going to drive my car into the nearest tree. <laughs> Should be some sort of pre-warning about this. <laughs> um, Shall we put a trigger warning in? <laughs> But KJ, I was thinking we should, uh, for Maker Central, should we just go all in on the suspenders? I mean, that yeah, sounds like it. If you don't have any, I have several, so uh, I can I can bring a few. <laughs> well, I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to seeing that if they have the same <laughs> version of suspenders as me. <laughs> I was wondering whether we want to give Turgworks a weekly segment where he sends a voice message in. <laughs> I was thinking we should uh, Photoshop some. <laughs> and different with different legs on. <laughs> it's been really weird not seeing you this week, have I? Yeah. And you sitting there watching us. Yeah, and the quality's been kind of switchy as well. But it says actual recording is in higher quality, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm really interesting for stop recording. I'm pressing really stop recording. I'm doing it. Yeah, Do it. Half of this so, recording. <laughs> enough of this. It's been quite the week. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to yeah. be a short half pint. This. <laughs>